Ever feel like your days are vanishing? Like Monday turns into Friday, and suddenly it's next month? You're not imagining it. You're just experiencing a glitch in your brain's version of time. But here's the twist. If your brain is creating time, maybe you can learn to bend it. Not with magic, with science. Time isn't ticking, it's being built. We've been raised to believe that time is like a train track. It moves forward one second at a time. But modern neuroscience says that's not how your brain experiences time at all. According to a new study featured in Popular Mechanics, time perception isn't driven by external clocks. It's built from within, based on how much sensory information your brain is processing. The more input, the more your brain stretches the moment. The less input, time compresses. That's why routine days fly and chaotic ones crawl. Think about it. Why do scary moments feel like slow motion? Why does childhood seem longer than adulthood? Why does a vacation day feel richer than a week of emails? Because your brain isn't keeping time. It's editing it. When time froze. Let me tell you a quick story. A group of researchers asked participants to fall backwards, safely of course, and timed the drop. Later they asked how long the fall felt. Almost every person overestimated the duration. Why? In moments of stress or novelty, your brain becomes hyper-aware. It records more detail, more sensations. So the event feels longer, even though the clock didn't change. Now flip that. Ever spent hours scrolling your phone, then looked up and said, where did the time go? That's not time flying. That's time being erased. Your brain didn't store enough detail to make it feel like it happened. Your brain's hidden time settings. Here's what's wild. You can actually change how your brain experiences time. Here's how to do it. Add novelty. Go somewhere new. Take a different route. Rearrange your room. Your brain wakes up when it sees change. Deep focus. Single tasking creates richer time experiences. Multitasking fragments them. Feel more. Strong emotions, whether joy or awe, stretch time. That's why falling in love or watching sunsets makes time feel eternal. Be mindful. Fully experiencing the now adds detail to memory. That's how monks, artists, and even athletes enter flow states where time seems to expand. It's not about slowing down your life. It's about sharpening your awareness. What this means for you, if time is a construction, then you are the architect. You don't need to race the clock. You need to rewrite how your brain interacts with it. Fill your day with attention, emotion, and novelty, and your life will feel longer and more meaningful. It's not just about productivity. It's about presence. And presence is the secret to time mastery. You're not running out of time. You're just not fully in it. So next time you feel like life is speeding up, ask yourself, am I paying attention? Because time isn't just something that happens to you. It's something your brain creates. And if you understand that, you can take it back. 